Hello, and today we're going to be talking about the Rundle Curve. And in the background here, you can see Diamond Head. And Diamond Head here in Hawaii has the same shape as the Rundle Curve. There's an ascent up during the active phase, it goes down, and then it flattens out during the chronic and fibrotic phase. And one of the things that's been interesting since the emergence of new treatments like the biologics, the monoclonal antibodies for the treatment of thyroid eye disease, is that our whole concept of this Rundle Curve, where there's an active phase, where we can use anti-inflammatory and immunosuppressive therapies and orbital radiation, followed by a fibrotic phase, where you have a plateau, but you need to have surgery, that concept may not be accurate. And so even though the Rundle's Curve is useful for helping patients understand the natural history of their disease, but not just thyroid eye disease, any disease, it may be that our treatment decision making should not be reflected in the Rundle's Curve, and that biologic agents and other treatments that are non-surgical can be used even in the chronic phase of the disorder, and that it might not be fibrosis, that it might be some other mechanism like IGF-1 uh, receptor overexpression that's actually causing the disease to continue in what we used to call the chronic fibrotic phase of the Rundle's Curve. And so I believe that maybe it's time that Rundle's Curve be RIP.